Hello and welcome to another skill of the week, this one for Adinkra printmaking for the sixth grade. So last week we talked about how to pick your symbol that you're going to choose and, and a lot of them are symmetrical. So the ones that are symmetrical, remember, you don't have to worry too much about, you just draw what you see, but remember, you're not going to have any just single lines, they're actually going to take up space. So once you have tra traced around your lino block that we're going to be using, the linoleum block, and you've drawn it on your paper, you can transfer it to your little lino block. Now, uh, what I've done is made sure that I get close to the edges, and yes, I've made some mistakes, but I just drew over the top because you can't really erase on the lino block. So once you've done that, you're ready to carve. So now you're going to need a carving tool, okay, and it's got this... Uh, twisting thing that opens up so that you can put your blades in. Your blades will be in a jar like this and there are different kinds of blades. Okay, There are little tiny, uh, tiny, tiny blades like that. Okay, I don't generally use that one unless I've got a really, really small space to go into. There's also what's called the big U shape. Okay, You can see that that's shaped like a U. And then we have the large V shape. Okay, see how that's a, like a, a V? Okay, and then we have the smaller V shape. Okay, but this is the teeny tiny V shape. Most of you won't be using that one. When you need to put it into your tool, you need to twist this open. See how it opens up? Okay, the little ball inside is attached to the thick uh, section over here. The thin section it's not attached to. You need to put your tool rounded, see the words on the end here? The rounded end goes in to the area that is between the small half circle and the ball. Oops, well, I have to look at it so I can't. There we go. Okay, so you can see that it's between the ball and the little U-shaped thing. Then you twist it shut. Do not twist it all the way open or all the pieces fall apart. Okay? Then you can put the other blades away because you're, you're not going to be using them. I might, I might be using the smaller V for in here. And then if it helps you to mark the things that you're going to need to carve, you can mark them with an X or color them in or whatever. But I, I know that I need to print these spaces right here. That's the part that's going to get printed, so I don't want to carve that, okay? I, I need to keep that open. So now what you're going to do is you're going to use a carving backstop. It pushes up against the table so that you uh, your thing doesn't slide all around. You're going to put this right up against it. Now I'm going to move my... Let's see, maybe the best way to do it is to move it over here. There we go. Okay, and you always want to carve away from you. Carve toward the end of the backstop. Don't put your hand up here because guess what? These are super, super sharp and you do not want to stab into your hand. I've got a couple scars on mine from when I did this in eighth grade. Okay, so on really large areas, I like to use the large U shape. So that's the one that I've put in and I'm just going to carve around the outside edge Notice that those that piece isn't coming off yet, but that's okay. I'm just going to carve around the outside edge for now, okay? And you turn it when you need to. Don't put your hand up and uh, get your hand in the way of the carving. Okay, so I'm just going to carve around that. And then when I want this off, I just scoop it right off of there. These will cut through uh, like butter, okay? It's, it's like a... A hot knife through butter. You do want you want to be very careful when you're carving these. Now, don't carve all the way to the bottom. Notice how I'm carving. See how I'm carving down like that? I'm going to carve about halfway probably. Okay, I'm going to just keep turning it so that I'm just going around the pencil line. I'm not pushing too hard because it's easy to carve. If I push too hard, I might end up car carving right over my pencil lines and then my print isn't going to turn out the way I want. See how I'm holding my fingers down onto the lino block here to just steady it? That just keeps it in place. 
okay? But you must be very, very careful. Now I'm holding it out a little bit and just keeping my fingers on it so that I can get all those extra pieces off, okay? And sometimes this will get clogged up and you'll need to just scoot this off to the side. Okay, I'm gonna carefully go around this. And you might have to turn it quite often to get it in the position that you need to be able to carve your design. But as you can see, I'm just kind of outlining it right now. And I can do that with that entire large space that I, that I have because all of that needs to be carved off. I don't want any of that to print. That's going to be the white of my paper or whatever color I, I'm choosing my paper to be. Okay, so I need to make sure that that's down and fairly even. I might need to carve that just a little bit more because once you check the side, you know, you look, you look at how wide this is, you go, oh wow, you know, I need to carve that down a little bit more. And I'm noticing over here, I didn't quite carve that down as far as I need to. And I might need to change blades for when I get in here. So let's say I've carved all of that out and I've got some areas where I need a, a smaller V. So I'm gonna loosen this just a little bit and pull it out. If it doesn't pull out really easy, then somehow you've put it in there wrong or you need, to un you need to loosen it just a little bit more. So I'm gonna take the smaller V, not the really tiny v but the, v, but the smaller one, and I'm going to put that in correctly. It should just slide in really easily. And then tighten it up. And then I'm going to go in between here because I knew that I had some really small areas that I needed to work on. And I wanna make sure all of those are off. Okay, so I've, I've gotten in between here really nicely. And I could use that for this area too if I wanted to, but I actually think that that V is probably a little bit too small. And so I'm gonna switch to another one. See how it just comes right up to this little neck? If, if it's sticking up here, it's not down far enough. It should just slide right down. Tighten that up. Now I can do these inside areas, but I want to kind of make sure that I am going carefully around the design right next to the pencil lines. Because that's a pretty tight design. Okay, so I need to make sure, oop, I don't want to carve towards myself, so I want to make sure I'm carving away. Okay, I want to I don't want to cut myself. So it's always a carving away motion. Okay, and then you can fill in. Okay, make sure you're carving down. My temptation is to go like this when I'm turning a corner, but you want to try to resist that temptation because you don't ever want to carve towards yourself. Now, with these new lino blocks, they're much easier to carve, so we have less injury this way, so they're really, really nice. But we still want to have safety. Okay. So again, you just got to pay really close attention to where you're carving. And make sure you are watching that pencil line. Don't go over it. Be very careful and take your time. If you rush it, that's when you either have an injury or you carve something you didn't mean to carve. Okay. So now, let's see if I've got it all carved out. Okay, I can see there are a couple of spaces here that I still need to carve. And some of those are just pieces that were sticking on there. They're carved down enough, but I didn't get them cut off. Okay, so now you can see that my inside is carved out. I would just need to continue and finish carving all of my outside areas, but you get the general idea. All of this 
that I didn't carve is the part that's going to get printed. So that is your skill of the week for uh, your cutting of your linoleum block. Cut away from you. Take your time. Use the tools properly. Thank you.